Many of you are aware just how much of an aspiration it's been over a couple of years at this point, as of what I've stated, but certainly over the last couple of months, to build out music as a principal presence on this channel in regard to entertainment ventures that I cover. It's been a long and sustained ambition of mine since really I began. And as of the 2022 year, I succeeded in definitely emboldening that vision of 2023. It's only going to grow even more drastically. As, again, it's my preferred art form of choice, and it's the one I spent the most time in interaction with. Music, for me, really is a first love. And those other types of art forms are great. You know, every artistic communication style is uniquely stylized to its own language. But music, for me, again, again like I said, has so much reach, dimension, um, atmosphere. It's such a unique art form and its complexity and how it touches people's lives and interacts with you. Maybe just even on just an entertainment perspective, but perhaps, again, you know, for other measures as well. I've really wanted to expand, in particular, with music coverage, a presence of unfamiliar talent and first introductions. Not only specific tracks among established names to me, but again, fresh artists. Because you never know where to find them, right? Talent exists all over the world. And one of the key tools I've utilized to have this model of approach has been the collaborative um, tool. That being, let's say for simplicity's sake, if an artist is known to you, does a collaborative project with somebody else who's an unfamiliar name, right? Then you're introduced in the process to somebody who's a new talent. Same sketch here, roughly, because that's how I'm approaching Michael Lassard, and that's how I got to him, in fact, was starting earlier on with a never-established group. Let's say, for example, Demon Hunter, big in the Christian metal scene, if you're not familiar. They've been around for like two decades. I've been a fan of them for about 12 of those years. Known talent, their frontman, Ryan Clark, did a project of an unfamiliar name at the time, Set the Sun, an emerging uh, metal group if you're not familiar. And that's how I got an introduction with them. And then from them, they've done a couple collaborations of other artists, including, let's say, for example, Michael Lassard. That's how his name popped up through the collaborative song, New Condition. And now from that, I'm looking towards more of Michael Lassard's uh, career as an artist. So again, it's the same pattern of networking to find and discover new talent. I've really appreciated and used, utilizing that model so much. And in part, because of what it provides me, again, in emboldening my emphasis on um, new talents on this channel, which is something that I've long wanted to do. Again, in terms of fresh introductions, not only for myself, but perhaps to forge paths forward for others out there who want to discover talent but don't know where to look. Judging Michael Lassard's previous episode and how familiar I am with him from New Condition, I think you're going to like this guy if you've not heard him before. He's... He's got a pretty good voice, in my opinion. He's quite talented. And maybe you in the future, I'll be able to utilize this type of pattern more again in the collaborative sense. Because from my understanding, he's an artist of um, multiple destinations, not only from a self-governed career, which is what we're looking at today from uh, the Use the Rest single, but he's also a member, I guess, of the band The Contortionist. And I have seen in passing in regard to the background on this piece that maybe... His sound here, which is familiar, by the way, in terms of groups doing uh, side projects or solo artists, maybe they'll deviate from what's an established tone from what people are mostly familiar with. My understanding from what I've seen is that the contortionist utilizes a style that's a bit heavier versus this track, which is maybe a bit softer in its delivery. I'm interested to see, you know, like I said, New Condition set up a song that I feel, or not a song, but an artist that I'm very impressed by, again, as a first, you know, encounter. So I'm really curious to see more of his talents in his own space. And that's what we're doing with Use the Rest, which is the track I've wanted to get onto for a long time. Again, having listened to New Condition, I think he's a really dynamic talent. And that's just one listen, though. And maybe with the Contortionist, like I said, I'll touch on them one day. I'm always open to discovering new groups. I'm going to go ahead and queue up Use the Rest, and perhaps you and I can get an introduction for this uh, on our own, you know, for the first time together. And... If you're not familiar with the way I format my videos, in consideration of this particular project, you're not only getting the song, but also the music video to accompany it. But if you're somebody that likes to read along with the message of the piece and the lyrics, I try and best suit audience tastes individually, if that is an ambition for you. And so what I will be doing, like I do on most of my music reactions in terms of the format, I will provide the lyrics for you within the video. They'll track along with the song as we proceed through it, and we can enjoy the song together. I have to offer this disclaimer, though, because you're going to see a bit of a, a jump in time between these cuts. I've actually, this is me recording it in post. Now, what you're going to see in, in the next clip, I'm going to cut back in for the review portion of the track, but I was able to film the reaction and I was able to isolate that. So for different reasons, I wanted to actually kind of re-record the introduction and the conclusion. I'm staging it as if maybe it is a first listen, because in fact it is in the clip you're about to see. It was very much my first entrance with uh, Michael Lassard. But I'm giving you that clarity, being like, well, you're wearing something different. It seems like you're completely, you know, like, 
it just in a, in a spit more moment, it's a different cut. It's the same video, but um, it's same intent, but that clip that you're going to be about to see with in terms of the first exposure, that was from a couple days ago. But I wanted to retool the introduction and conclusion to better serve the piece. You know, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I guess, but... I'm just offering that clarification to avoid confusion. But for you, you're going to be seeing my first impression of Set the Sun and maybe, or not Set the Sun, sorry, uh, with Michael Assard. And maybe for some of you, again, this is going to be a first impression as well. And we're going to have the same type of angle going into this video in particular. And I, again, I like that experience. I love being able to share my enjoyment of music, perhaps with new listeners out there, and maybe send you, your, you know, the way of new talents. I, I'm really curious, though, to hear Michael Assard again. That first introduction was great. And of course, I'll come back again, like I said, for the review, but I, I'm really interested to hear from what you're about to see as well, the um, atmosphere of what he can produce as a solo artist, or at least in name. And to be fair, in all honesty, when I was pulling up um, New Condition, I did hear a couple of initial seconds, not much of this song, like probably about that point. It wasn't that much at all, but that's what kind of brought me in in terms of interest now that I remember. It's a softer pattern normally than what I listen to. Nice strumming. Flows really well. Great voice to blend to. Endearing background vocalizations as well. It's a very emotional song. Very relatable though. And wonderfully written. He's a very engaging performer to watch. I think it really is such a nice tie into the song, this erratic presentation. It's a fabulous blend. A lot of character in his work. What an interesting work. Um, that is a very original piece. And I say that with all due respect because I quite enjoyed it. I mean, still days later, in the way that it's written, it kind of amazes me in the dimension of what Michael Lassard captures in his vision. And while the song, some might argue, is resting in the familiar of other themes that different talents have addressed. If you look into the background of the song in terms of the intention, I mean, you can maybe read into this with the lyrics as well. There's some key words here that stand out, of course, to follow along this line. But the envisioned goal of a track was to speak to depression and anxiety. Very relevant struggles and very grounded in regard to what people on a daily basis deal with, especially over the last couple of years. But it, I totally agree with maybe the entry here in terms, there's some commentary, at least in the way that this is phrased on the Metal Sucks website, which is Funny name, by the way, in terms of the website. I kind of like it. It's rather original. Uh, I don't agree, though. I like I like metal. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit of a humorous take. Um, but I like the way that they word this, because I agree with it. it. It's a startling piece, 
and part of the video, which we'll get to, with an appropriately earnest video. Again, that speaks to, I think, the general quality of the visualizer, and it, I, I have a lot of praise to throw at it, in part. I think the way that Michael Lassard discusses um, depression, it's a very relevant disclosure of what people deal with, and I think the way it's stated, matched with the tone and the music, the, the sentimental side to this song, and it's a very emotional piece. Though I've said many times in the past, I'm a metalhead in terms of primary genre preference, I do keep broad tastes in regard to, you know, what I will humor. And softer songs sometimes are my alley. This is much more like a contemporary, um, you know, softer rock ballad. And maybe for some people who perhaps are not as metalheads, or much of a metalhead like myself, and tend to gravitate towards the softer and energy, which is fine. You know, we all have particular genre choices of what we gravitate to. I think this is going to be a very accessible song in a broad nature. Um, in terms of capturing an audience, I think this is definitely more approachable in tone versus maybe what I tend to prefer, which is, again, more energetic and lively but and more forceful. But I mean, still, it's got, it's got this nice daintiness to the way it's pictured that I find well-married to the tone of the piece. Because you're talking about a sensitive subject with depression, anxiety, and so many people struggle with that. It, it really is a burden for people's lives. And the way it's worded in here, like with certain lines in the chorus, I love I love the way he says this. I know that I'm a mess. That's why I'm crawling in my skin. It might be a bit too much, but I could use the rest. Like, that's so beautiful. Metaphysical, all that matters is under my head. The delivery on the lyrical front is excellent in regards to speaking about depression and what a, what a struggle it can be for people. And the music, like I said, is a great aid. It's very soft, somber. It's peaceful, serene, but it has this tragic mood. And the strumming pattern of the guitar, I think, is very welcoming. The video, though, is quite interesting. And it's just, you know, it's, it's really easy in regard to a filmmaking process. It's literally just the artist walking around and on a road, you know, in nature, just singing. With some methodology in the structure. But it's just such a... It's... What's the word I'm looking for? It's a simple video and in intention. And I find it quite dazzling to watch. Again, like I said, in terms of giving the project personality, even beyond what I think is a very sufficiently written song. The way that he approaches... the, And like I said, it, it, when I've covered this, Michael Lassard is an excellent performer. Like, his, his facial cues really work for me. Especially with the lines about, like, the sarcasm. There is a bit of, like, a humorous... It's not really humorous. It's not what I'm looking for. There's a self-awareness to what he's talking about in context of the piece. And he embodies that very well in terms of his facial energy. But there's, like, a, there's a light humor to it. Like, that's sort of how he's processing... That's kind of what he's doing for me. He's embodying a negative emotion from a more peaceful demeanor. That we can clearly tell, I think, an intention is meant to be a disguise. That's a clear facade to me that he seems to be adopting in this video. And again, I think it's by intention. It really amazes me how succinct the video is materializing, again, the depression angle. Because it's quite exquisite. And it's literally just as simple as, like I said, a guy walking on an open road. And yet, like I said, the song has such a beautiful approach point to it. But it doesn't feel too emotional or too tragic. Like, it, it just feels so relevant and down-to-earth peaceful. Like, it, it's so easy to just come into this song, whatever stage of life you're in, even if you're somebody perhaps who has not directly struggled with depression or anxiety. Um, I can I can relate in some ways, though I've never necessarily said, I, I would never say I've dealt with depression on risk. Maybe feelings that are adjacent, but not necessarily. I, I haven't wanted to call myself depressed in the sense of falsely adopting a diagnosis that wouldn't attribute me if it is relevant. Um, or anxiety. I mean, I certainly I've experienced light anxiety about things, maybe fear and a, a timidness, but we all have in certain situations, but not what, again, would constitute a diagnosis. So out of respect to anybody who perhaps is processing with that, and that, it, it's a hard show, again, from what I'm aware of, I've wanted to be critical of my wording to make sure I'm not dishonoring people who are struggling with that and falsely attribute a diagnosis where it doesn't belong. But I can relate maybe in some of the adjacent feelings to what people wrestle with in a situation of depression and anxiety. I think a lot of people can. Or we can just sympathize from what we know, maybe from experiences we've had in our family relationships and our friends' relationships, maybe even in romantic relationships. We can sense that, right? It's a natural feeling that we can all 
acclimate to in the context of seeing somebody struggling and disclosing that struggle beautifully in this type of uh, uh, segment that again, like I feel this video in, in scope is just so wonderful and materializing the lyrical vision. As a first, I think this is Michael Lassard's first solo work, if I understand. This is quite a launch. Um, it's not oftentimes I see, again, like fresh introductions from establishing talents that are so... I mean, again, like I said, he's had work with a contortionist. So maybe to call him an established... Establishing talent would be a bit unfair. But in a solo capacity, there's such a beautiful delivery here. I, I'm really captivated by the effectiveness of his vision and how he utilizes certain tools, in particular, uh, the, vid the song, the direction of the video, and how best that marries to the tone of the piece, and showcasing a contemplative vision. Like, even the camera degrees are pretty interesting as well. Like, there's certain cinematic techniques that this utilizes. And I wonder, in part, maybe with the ending structure, like, if it's supposed to be like, this is sort of, that, this video, that, that's kind of what it is, I think, in terms of what I'm getting at. This video embodies the psychological challenge, a, a challenge of dealing with depression, anxiety, let's say from a dreamlike state. That's the narrative focus, right? Because this guy at the end wakes up and he's sort of in that emotional space of what he's thinking about. Or maybe he's, you know, not he's not necessarily waking maybe he's just resting his head, but this is what he's thinking through in his mind. This track really is cathartic. I have to be honest with you. Again, the psychological direction of this is so well embodied by the video. That's really what I feel its key trait is. That it's taking the challenge and the struggle of dealing with depression and anxiety and trying to best visualize it in an, a fresh manner, but perfectly embody that psychological direction to a way that viewers understand. And the song in itself, like I said, is quite approachable in tone, in tune. And from its uh, uh, understanding, informed perspective, I'd say, again, with a very personal touch, that for even those of you who might not necessarily be rock fans in principle, the softer delivery helps to bring in an audience to engage with. Again, I think this piece is so beautiful. It's exquisite to listen to, in my opinion. Um, I'm very interested to see where Michael Lassard evolves as a solo artist going forward. I mean, I, like I said, Limited first exposure with Set the Sun, and I haven't yet to look at The Contortionist. I will definitely consider that one day. But in terms of his solo endeavors, if his next track is anything like this, I'm still in this phase. Again, even having recorded that video in a couple days ago, I'm still in this emotional state where I'm like, it's such a beautiful song. It really is, in terms of the first listen. The piece beautifully captures, I think, the psychology of somebody struggling with very human emotions in a way that is easy to track with, and easy to entertain. It doesn't feel in any way off-putting. It's very natural. What are your guys' thoughts with this song? I mean, maybe for some of you, you're coming at this again. Maybe you've heard this piece before and you're watching somebody give a fresh take. Or, well, fresh in the sense I'm re-recording the introduction conclusion. But at least the first impression that I've given you was <laughs> entirely fresh. That was the first exposure. And I wish I'd been able to salvage like the rest of that video. But I just, I, I wanted to reflect it a little bit. I, I guess... <sighs> I think the reason was because I didn't really, at the time going in, I hadn't looked into the background of the song, but now that I see it, I better understand its vision. But even still, I'm in a puzzlement of how good the video is. But maybe for some of you, you're in my position, or you were at least in the context of that video, but this was very much you know, a first exposure to you, and you've never heard Michael Lassard before. Again, from what I've heard thus far, check out Set the Sun if you have in terms of his collaborative effort there with New Condition. It's a great track. But this is very distinct. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the piece down below, and if you're definitely engaged to hear more as I am from his offerings. And we'll see, you know, what I think about in terms of some of his other uh, musical endeavors of other artists, but as a solo artist, he's got a lot of potential. And I'm definitely, if he continues this pattern of softer sentimental songs that really touch into human emotions with a psychological uh, a twist in the materialization of the video, as well as just such a simple delivery. I'm really curious to see where he evolves from here as a musician. I, I'm really impressed with Michael Lassard. It's a beautiful piece, and I definitely am engaged as a listener to hear a lot more. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.